going to send these as a demonstration of hope. With the colors of the Belgian flag, Richard Norby and his family, along with the parents of Mason Wells, released balloons tonight as a symbol of peace. One year after a horrific morning at the Brussels airport, each of the missionaries who suffered wounds and burns are looking back at the miracles they have seen along the way. We're under his direction and his plan, and, and that is that we have trials and struggles of life to make us better. That's what life is. Ultimately, God has you know, been good to me. He's fulfilled promises that he's kept, and I'm returning to life as a normal boy, just like I was before. Mason Wells has nearly recovered from serious burns to his right hand. He's in Washington, D.C. right now, working as a congressional intern. In the end, I'm grateful that I was there. Dresden Empey is also doing well. This shrapnel from the bomb was removed from his foot just last week. He says the care he received from a first responder on the day of the attack now has him pursuing a career as a paramedic. It was a positive experience for me. It helped me learn, grow, kind of have a, this greater appreciation. While the three missionaries have gone in different directions, they say their lives are very much connected and say their faith is stronger as well as their desire to serve others. Yeah, I've realized that just because my mission ends, it doesn't mean I, my, my ability to serve others is over. And despite the emotions tonight, they are all looking to a bright future. My perception of humanity and the goodness of people has been strengthened. I just look forward to doing what I can to help people and give of the experience that have been given to me. Sam Hunrod, KSL 5 News, Lehigh.